finished cutting up a big bowl full of a peach, uh, a pear, and a mandarin. Not a mandarin. What do you call it? Nectarine. A nectarine. Pardon me. So we've just been tasting the delicate, wonderful taste of God's awesome blessing upon us. And all of that fruit was a gift from God via the people who brought it to our house. None of it was purchased by us, so we've been really blessed. So, let's open the prayer. Thank you, gracious Heavenly Father, for your bountiful provision that you've granted to us. Help us to be wise in sharing it and preserving it so that it may last through the winter for us and whoever takes advantage of this free gift. And Lord, we also thank you for the awesome privilege of reading your word. And we ask for all those who are joining with us, as well as us, that we will receive greater insight into who you are. Yes. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. And Lord, we also ask that you put a special blessing on all those who generously share their harvest, those who share with us and those who share with others. May we be equally generous to others as so many have been generous to us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I get to read first today. It's okay. I'll sit here. You will. And smile and look pretty handsome. Pretty. Pretty you, handsome. You handsome. Oh, okay. I think I need more light. You got the light dim. My son, don't forget my teaching. Thank you. My commands. <coughs> Keep my commands. No, I do not work. Well, that's okay. I can read. <laughs> Four, they will add to your many days, years of life and peace. Do not let grace and truth leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Then you will win favor and esteem in the sight of God and of people. So that is, don't let grace and truth leave you. So if we have grace, which is what we get through God, because he loves us, and we will submit ourselves to him. And truth is, a, is the, the word of God is called truth, right? Mm -hmm. So if we've got a handle on that, and a relationship with God, it says that we will find favor and esteem in the sight of God and of people. Mm -hmm. Trust in Adonai with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Then he will lead your path. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Don't be conceited about your own wisdom, but fear Adonai and turn from evil. This will bring health to your body and give strength to your bones. You're having achy bones. Here's the remedy. It says, fear Adonai and turn from evil. Honor mm. Adonai with your wealth and with the first fruits of your income. Then your granaries will be filled, and your vats overflowing with new wine. Well, My son, our granary is getting full. It is. Well, a food pantry. We don't have a granary, but a food pantry. My son, don't despise Adonai's discipline or resent his reproof, for Adonai corrects those he loves, like a father who delights in his son. Happy the person who finds wisdom, the person who acquires understanding. For her profit exceeds that of silver, gaining her as gaining her is better than gold. She is more precious than pearls. Nothing you want can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, and riches and honor are in her left hand. This is wisdom you're talking about. Right? Yeah. And her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who grasp her, and whoever holds fast to her will be made happy. So if you're sad, you need to seek wisdom. So you're going to read it well? 19. Adoniah, by wisdom, founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep springs burst open, and the dew condenses from the sky. My son, don't let these slip from your sight. Preserve common sense and discretion. There will be life for you being for your being and grace for your neck then you will walk your way securely without hurting your foot when you lie down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweet don't be afraid of sudden terror or distraction or destruction caused by the wicked when it comes for you can rely on Adonai 
He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. Don't withhold good from someone entitled to it when you have in hand the power to do it. Don't tell your neighbor, go away, come another time. I'll give it to you tomorrow when you have it now. Don't plan harm against your neighbor who lives beside you trustingly. Don't quarrel with someone for no reason if he has done you no harm. Don't envy a man of violence. Don't choose any of his ways. For the pres for the preserved perverse is an for the perverse is an abomination to Adonai, but he shares his secret counsel with the upright. Adonai is cursed is in the house of the wicked, but he blesses the house the home of the righteous. The scornful he scorns, but gives grace to the humble. The wise win honor but fools win shame a lot of powerful information in here um this part up here where it says um where would i read it it says uh don't let these slip from your sight preserve common sense and discretion and they will be life for you for your being and grace for your neck and then you will walk in your way securely without hurting your foot. And when you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, you will, your sleep will be sweet. And so many people today are <coughs> having sleep disorders. Like, like a major drug sold over the counter to help people sleep. Mm -hmm. And um, so it says here, you preserve common sense and discretion. Mm -hmm. That's to think about, eh? Yep. And then down here you read about um, abomination. Um, what was the abomination? The perverse. Envy a man of violence. Don't choose any of his ways. For the per perverse is an abomination. So violent men are, are an abomination to God. Okay, chapter 4. Listen, children, to a father's instructions. Pay attention in order to gain insight, for I am giving you good advice. So, don't abandon my teaching, for I too was once a child to my father and my mother, too, though of thought of me as her special darling. He too taught me. He said to me, let your heart treasure my words, keep my commandments and live. Gain wisdom and gain insight. Don't forget to turn from the words I am saying. Don't forget or turn from the words I am saying. Don't abandon wisdom, then she will preserve you. Love her, and she will protect you. The beginning of wisdom is get wisdom. <laughs> the beginning of wisdom is get wisdom. And along with all you're getting, get insight. Cherish her, and she will exalt you. Embrace her, and she will bring you honor. She will give you your head a garland of grace. Bestow on you a crown of glory. Listen, my son, receive what I say, and the years of your life will be many. I am directing you on the way of wisdom, guiding you in paths of uprightness. And when you walk, your step won't be hindered, and if you run, you won't stumble. Hold fast to discipline. Don't let it go. Guard it, for it is your life. Don't follow the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Don't go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they can't sleep if they haven't done evil. They are robbed, um, they are robbed of sleep unless they are making someone fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, shining ever brighter until full daylight. The way of the wicked is like darkness. They don't even know what makes them stumble. How many verses are we doing? Chapter 5. Do you want me just to finish it yep. and read that? Okay. My son, pay attention to what I am saying. Incline your ear to my words and don't let them out of your sight. Keep them deep in your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to their whole being. Above everything else, guard your heart, for it is the source of life's conscience. Keep the crooked speech out of your mouth. Banish deceit from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze on what lies in front of you. Level the path for your feet. Let all your ways be properly prepared. 
then uh, deviate neither right nor left and keep your foot far from evil. Chapter 5. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding so that you will pres preserve discretion and your lips keep watch over knowledge. For the lips of a woman who is a strange stranger drop honey. Her mouth is smoother than oil, but in the end she is as bitter as wormwood, sharp as a double-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps lead straight to shore. I read this somewhere else in the same book. Um, she doesn't walk the level path of life. Her course wanders all over, but she doesn't know it. So now, children, listen to me. Don't turn away from what I am saying. Distance your way from her. Stay far from the door of her house, so that you won't give your vigor to, vigor to others and your years to someone who is cruel. So strangers won't be filled, filled with your strength and what you work for go to a foreign house. Then when your flesh and bones have shrunk, at the end of your life, you would moan. And how I hated discipline. My whole being despised reproof. I ignored what my teachers said. I didn't listen to my instructors. I took part in almost every kind of evil, and the whole community knew it. Drink the water from your own cistern, fresh water from your own well. Let what your springs produce be dispersed outside, streams of water flowing in the streets, but let them be for you alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain, the wife of your youth, be blessed. Find joy in her, a lovely deer, a graceful fawn. Let her breath satisfy you at all times. Always be infatuated with her love. My son, why be infatuated with an unknown woman? Who, why embrace the body of a loose woman? For Adonai is watching a man's ways. He surveys all his past. A wicked person's own crimes will trap him. He will be held fast by the ropes of his own sin. He will die with lack of discipline. <coughs> the magnitude of his father will make him totter and fall. Now we have to quickly turn to First Corinthians chapter or Second Corinthians chapter one. Chapter one. From the Sheol, by God's will, an emissary of the Messiah Yeshua. And brother of Timothy to God God's Messianic community in Corinth, along with all God's people throughout Archaea. Grace to you and wisdom from God our Father and the Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Praise be to God, Father of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah, compassionate Father, God of all encouragement and comfort, who encourages us all in our trials so that we can encourage others in whatever trials they may be undergoing, undergoing with the encouragement we ourselves have received from God. For just as the Messiah's suffering overflowed unto us, so through the Messiah our encouragement also overflows. So if we undergo trials, it is for your encouragement and deliverance. And if we are encouraged, that should encourage you when you have to endure suffering like those we are experiencing. Moreover, our hope for you remains staunch, because we know that as you share in the suffering, you will also share in the encouragement. <clears throat> for brothers, we want you to know about the trials we have undergone. In the province of Asia, the burden laid on us was so far beyond what we could bear that we even despaired of living through it. In our hearts, we felt we were under sentence of death. However, this was to get us to rely not on ourselves, but on God, who raises the dead. He rescued us from such deadly peril, and he will rescue us again. The one in whom we have placed our hope will indeed continue to rescue us. And you must add your help by praying for us, for the more people there are praying, the more people there will be to give thanks when their prayers for us is answered. We run out of time. So we're going to end there today and pick up there tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us. Got May you be blessed, and we'll see you tomorrow. At the market here.